everybody, um, my name is Lynn um, and this is my channel Nana M. If you're new, welcome to you and thank you for stopping by and I hope you will look back at some of my other videos and watch those and if you like the content, please consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I um, do an upload. It's entirely free, it doesn't cost anything at all. So I'd appreciate it if you would consider doing that. And to all you returning um, lovelies, thank you. Anyway, today's video was supposed to be a day in the life of a little bit to get ready with me, two minutes on my treadmill, uh, a car vlog and extra stuff once I got home from where I'd been in the car. But as it turns out, yet again, can't I can't do it. I don't know how people manage to shove so much into such a short space. Uh, but it's already approximately 18 minutes long. And all I've done is a tiny get ready with me. It's the quickest one you'll ever see. Um, two seconds on my treadmill, not even a long one. And then this car vlog, which is a little bit of a rant. But it's not like a... Uh, an annoying rant it's just a rant um so thank you for tuning in i hope you stay till the end and i'll see you after the rant <laughs> thank you bye morning everybody this is gonna be the quickest get ready with me <laughs> you've ever seen it's gonna be very very limited I'm not putting much on today because going on holiday tomorrow and all I have to do is one errand which is go nip to Tesco for Millsborough's prescription. So, oh and I'm going to be filming a pack with me. Um... And um, editing that before I go. I'm going tomorrow. Not going till dinner time. My bedroom's a tip because I've got everything out uh, for the um, for the pack with me video. What I'm taking, so it's all over the place. So once I've done the video, I've got to tidy that all up, put it all back nice and neat and tidy. Can't come home to a tip. Oh no, I can't do that. So well, this is all I'm doing. Bit of blusher. There. Let me skin breathe today. I think. Just want to look alive, that's all. This looks redder on my phone. I'm doing this on my phone do all my videos on my phone I don't know why I said that my, my husband my son bought me a lovely new camera for Sony and I can't work out how to use it yet need to have uh, some patience for that one so that's my blusher I think something went in my eye not sure I'll put a little bit of mascara on a little bit I need to take it off, haven't I? I think I've lost some eyelashes. Hopefully they'll grow back. What I'm doing. Got it on my eyelid. Got it on my eyelid. Get that off. 
excuse me. Come on. In the bin. This lipstick is the one I'm taking on my holidays, but oh, it's red. So what I've been doing is trying to get as much off the wand as I can. Then drawing them. I've got a red blob there and it looks like my lipstick's bleeding, but it's a red blob. Don't know where it's come from. I've had it a while. Look at that. This is why I don't want to put makeup on. You see it? That's come since I started using the snail goo. So I've stopped using it. I don't know if it is that. And after my holidays, I will introduce things back slowly to find out which one's irritating me. But at the moment, I'm just not putting any serums on. Just my moisturiser. very pigmented in there. So what I've been doing is just putting the lightest, lightest covering on a can and then blotting it. Uh -uh. Look at all that. You wouldn't believe that, would you? That's, that's enough for me. So, that's all I'm doing. That's it. So that's coming off. I'll decide what I'm wearing, then I'll be back. So, this is the cash outfit, just to bring a Peter Tesco, because when I come back, I'll be doing my filming of, um, like I said earlier, of what I um, pack with me. So yeah, just jeans, I've had these jeans for ages, they were from Matalan, I think they're the Rosie ones they might be they like jeggings they're not jeans um baggy top comfy and my comfy shoes because i'll be doing my treadmill first so i'll show you that bit as well so <laughs> see you soon Folks, I've just popped into Tesco's to get um, Harvey's prescription for his holidays, and you'll be pleased to know I've been a very good girl, and I haven't bought anything. <laughs> Pick something up, but I put it back. So. People have no patience these days, have they? None whatsoever. Anyway, that's the prescription got. So I shall be going home now, making myself a cuppa and um, filming a pack with me. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. But on the way home, I'm going to tell you this story. I'm sure we are not the only people that this has happened to, but my husband got started on a different medication. And of course, when they first start you off on a medication, the only ever issue you 28 days. 
Now this is a medication that's lifelong. Somebody's parked in a really silly place here. Anyway, this is a medication that's lifelong. So, after uh, the first time he got prescribed it, he rang the GP and he said, um, please can I have this on repeat prescription? Because then, I'm not ringing up every four weeks um, to order a new one. It saves everybody work. I can just order it once a month, once every three months. Well, sorry, once every three months. And it'll last me three months. Well, we'll have to put a request in. So I said, okay then, uh, can you do that? Yes, we will do. Anyway, he kept checking the app. You know the app that you can go on. No, no, it wasn't on his repeat prescriptions. So the month after, he rang back to order another prescription, mentioned it again. She said, oh, we can't do that here. You have to go on to www.blah-de-blah-de-blah and you have to register yourself and request it. And then next time you want it, it'll be on. So I went on www. He filled all his um, information in that he needed to do. Kept checking. So I rang back again, next time it was due, explained what had happened on the previous two phone calls where he'd requested that he get this prescription on repeat. So she said, uh, well we have to ask the doctor, only the doctor can do that. So I said, well can I speak to the doctor? Said, oh no, you can't speak to the doctor, you have to just ring prescriptions. They're only open at certain times. So anyway, we're going away on holiday, aren't we? So I rang up. I can't remember what day it was. Can I order such and such? And she said no. I said, what do you mean? No. She said because it's only two weeks since she got it. You've got another two weeks yet. He said, well, you're right. He said, but I'm going on holiday, and I'll run out while I'm on holiday. And I have been asking for this to go on repeat prescription. She said, I can't. well, you can't. She said, because you've got to put a request in. He said, what do you mean a request? She said, a holiday request. So I said, right. And how do I put a request in? She said, you have to ring up. <laughs> he said, well, is that not what I've just done? And it's going redder and redder and redder. <laughs> and the more it went on, the more I got the bloody gig the giggles. Anyway. So he said, what time do I have to ring for that then? So she said, well, I can do it now. <laughs> so she said, I'll do it um, this once. <laughs> she said, and I'll send it through to, um, we always get them sent through to Tesco because it's open in the night, nearly 24 hours. If ever you need an emergency mm -hmm. one, it's easier, isn't it? So that's where I've just been to get that. But what a palaver. Now we're not under the same GP. I've got a different GP. And my daughter is a pharmacy technician and she happens to be a pharmacy technician for the GP practices in our area, but not the one my husband's under. Um, so luckily for me, if ever I have a problem, and I have, but I haven't done, I haven't ever needed to, she would be able to sort that out for me. But she, she said to her dad, that's not necessary she said I know the procedure for doing this inside out obviously it's what I do every single day you know what I mean she said that's not necessary you don't have to do that she can do that for you all she has to do is put a task into the GP and the GP will do the task 
which means he'll put on your prescriptions that that's repeat on your file and then you'll be able to but why do they make it so hard work anyway that's my rant it's not really a rant is it it's just letting you know and i'm sure we cannot be the only people on this planet did you do that quick slap myself in um that that's happened too the world has gone mad everything seems to be 20 times more complicated nowadays with all this technology that's supposed to make everything easier if you ring we tried to ring up the other day to to um, a network provider i'm not going to say which one i think i can but i'm not gonna just in case and you can't speak to a human being it's a robot and most things that you do now it's a what they call a bot anyway <laughs> suppose we have to move with the times but it definitely I, I mean I, I, I love technology and I think it's absolutely marvellous I used to say years ago do you know one day we'll be able to talk to each other on television and you can do it so it's marvellous that we move on and there's all these new inventions and everything but really whether it's that they put things in place before they've actually learned how to use the systems I don't know, but it's got to pop. But really, service nowadays used to be good service. You could ring up, you could speak to somebody, you told them what your problem was and they mended it for you. They sorted it out. Not anymore. Anyway, that's my chat. That's my car vlog. Now, I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. that's ramped over and I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world that's gone through that story that I've just told you um but anyway never mind that thank you for watching um I've just completed my pack with me which will be going up so I think I'll just shove this in as a little extra one um and the pack with me should be going up tomorrow if I can get it edited um this feels really weird. I don't know whether it looks weird. I'll know when I come to edit it. But I'm doing this on my iPad because it takes me for ages to upload what I've done on my iPhone to the iCloud. And then it goes on my iPad. So I'm trying to like film directly from the iPad just to see how it goes. But what it, what it means is the camera is up there. So I've got to look up there in the corner rather than looking straight on. And it feels very, very weird. Can't see myself. I'm just chatting. So anyway, it's the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. And um, I shall see you on the next one. Take care, as always. Bye-bye.